Right, last one. Okay, so we're looking for B. Now remember what I said to you about, you know, when you're trying to find these letters, if you've got this B on the bottom, then you want it on the top, so you've got to get rid of it on the bottom and put it on the top, so to get rid of a denominator, multiply by it. So really, I want to be multiplying by B to get rid of that B on the bottom. But for this one, I'm actually going to multiply by A and B to get rid of all those denominators. I mean, think of what we did in rational expressions, okay? This is all part of the rational section. How do you get rid of denominators? You multiply by them. What's the lowest common denominator? An A and a B for this one. So, I'm going to multiply by everything by A and a B. So right now I've got 1 over A, I've got a 1 over B, and that equals C. I mean, if think about this, if you were to multiply everything by B, which is correct, uh, and you could try it, you'd end up kind of not getting a very nice answer. You'd get an answer, but it wouldn't look very pretty. So you could just multiply by B, you know, but um, you're going to have left with fractions, and it'd be awkward. At least this way, I'm going to have no denominators by doing this. A, B. There you go. Multiply by A, B. A, B. Multiply by A, B. And here, everything, A, B. Well, the right-hand side is easy. It's the alphabet, A, B, C. Right, now look what cancels over here on the left. A is cancelled, B times 1 is B, plus here the B is cancelled, A times 1 is A. So what I'm left with is B plus A equals A, B, C, okay? Now, what did he say? If you're looking for the letter, get it all on the same side. I've got a B over here, a B over here, I'm going to get this B on the left over to the right. I'm just going to leave that A alone, it's happy where it is. If I take away a B and take away a B, I'm left with A equals A, B, a C minus B. Okay, now here it goes, right? Uh, the B's are on the same side, two different places though. To get it by itself, factor the B out. You always do that, okay? If I need to, here we go, factor the B out and what's left? Right, here we go, factor the B out. What's left? is A, C, minus. Now be careful, that B is not gone. Remember when you factor to find out what's left, you do a little division, okay? So if I pull a B out of a B, B divided by B is one. Do the distributive law to check if you need to, all right? And that still equals A. Now, how do I get that B by itself? Because it is just nicely written by itself at the moment. Remember, divide by the number next to the letter, the thing next to the letter. Divide by an A, C, minus one. Divide by. A, C, minus 1 on the other side. Divide by A, C, minus 1. Okay, it cancels here. Okay, and basically, I'll write it pretty. Right, that's what's left. In other words, B equals A on the top over A, C, minus 1 on the bottom. And that's it. Okay.